100% correct on what is going to be broken out here in the blind pick. Yeah, I think Method Black, they have to put their best foot forward, see what happens, let the chips fall where they may, and really challenge Wildcard Gaming here, who is going to be the ultimate cleaver. Looney getting gripped in already into a mana ref. Swapsy taking a little bit of pressure, and that's going to be the main strategy from Wildcard Gaming, likely going after Swapsy, denying him with the scrap of weapon, which we see is already one of the talent choices one of these monks has picked up. But with that restoration, Druid, if you're not switching targets, Life Bloom on Swapsy is very powerful at healing through single target damage, and I don't think it's going to be as effective as Colo running this grapple weapon strategy versus Sidu's restoration shaman. So at some point, Wildcard Gaming are going to have to potentially go after Chaz, and this is why I was surprised to not see Method Black just play this composition much earlier on in their series. I think that they are actually favored. It's Wildcard Gaming that are on a clock. Once again, a good crowd control attempt here on Chaz to gun down for Swapsy, but not finding enough damage. And Blizzo has been really taking a ton of damage throughout this, having burned through most of his personal defensive lineup. And now they managed to get Chaz into the fight. And this is what they need to do is go after the restoration, Druid. We saw that succeed against Sidu. Will Chaz fall in game one? Yeah, he definitely could. In a little bit of trouble as he gets rooted. Nice, nicely done there by Blizzo. Keeping him rooted up there as Chaz tries to escape. Blizzo and z still all over him. Swapsy and Raikou, they're going to have to try to back him up a little bit in this situation. Chaz could be in some trouble, definitely. But Blizzo also feeling a little bit scared without a touch of karma, without Life Cocoon to really fall back on. Blizzo is a very exposed target right now. Yeah, the pressure for Method Black is much higher than that of Wildcard Gaming, and they are not doing the Train the Druid strategy. They're playing much more conservatively and doing Death Grip stun swaps, which is better than just tunneling the Death Knight for sure. They need to spread pressure onto at least two targets so that Chaz has to move his Life Bloom around and expend more mana. Perhaps they can win on mana, but they're being overwhelmed right now. Looney gets gripped in, he pre-Life Cocoons the incoming stun, but then they just switch to Looney, having seen that defense activated. Good reaction from Method Black, forcing even more momentum on their side. If they can get a defensive way of the crane, Looney's gonna tap out his mana rapidly, and as soon as he's out, he can't access that huge damage-increasing ability, and as soon as that happens, Method Black will just overwhelm them. Looney has a tough decision. Does he go for it? He would like to get it aggressively and defensively if he can, but he's just pulled away from the fight, caught in the stun pre-fortifying Brew on that incoming attempt, then able to Transcendence out of the fight. We see Grapple Weapon kill attempt on Swapsy, but really not enough damage, and that's just the effectiveness the Druid brings in this matchup. Yeah, and Swapsy actually running Death Pact as well, so at any point he can give himself some artificial health that could potentially keep him alive. Chaz has a moment to heal through a lot of that fake uh, health that Swapsy will have available, and I think it's a good adaptation to keep himself alive. Chaz under fire with no trinket, could be very vulnerable. He needs to try to escape. Looney just charging in, all three members of Wildcard Gaming trying to pressure down Method Black right now. Overwhelmed Chaz. He responds with the Iron Bark, still trying to kite away. Now Looney vulnerable, rolls away. Life Cocoon was used. And Looney will survive with that Life Cocoon, potentially having to run away. Swapsy getting Swapsy, taking quite a bit of burst as well. Method Black falling behind a little bit here. Yeah, finally Wildcard Gaming switching targets and building momentum for the team, but Looney's been Maybe overstaying his welcome, playing quite aggressive, now able to transcendence to safety. Blizzo could get swapped to. He's got cooldowns to trade though, and he should be gladly exchanging them. We want to see more attempts onto Chaz. He's definitely the vulnerable target for the team of Method Black before dampening. Blizzo taking huge hits here from Method Black. Ops to just trade Touch of Karma and make this risky situation no longer a risky one. Swapsy gets bursted with the two members of his team in crowd control unable to assist. No grapple weapon opportunity just yet. Looney playing it patient far off in the wings. I'm wondering when he's going to move in and try and execute for a kill. We've got an opportunity here with Chaz having no Glyre's medallion. If they can grip him in and get triple stun, Looney gets gripped in first. As a black are gonna secure a mana rift on the end of that stun, trying to build a mana lead, but surprisingly, Looney is actually very far ahead and playing very smartly with his mana, holding on to way of the cranes, not using them on cooldown as we saw Colo and his team. Looney's just waiting for the perfect opportunity. If they can deny Chaz from regenerating mana, they could also win in the late game. Imprisonment onto the way of the crane. Looney trinkets, but he trinkets into a stun. Good denial by Raikou, a double stun as well. No mana rift to pair off, but this way the crane will connect. Touch of death has been committed as well. And Zipai is going after Chaz, so they're trying to attack two targets at the same time. This way Chaz has to make a tough decision on who he uses his iron bark on. Also has to spend a lot more mana healing two targets. Wildcard Gaming, they've established that mana lead. Now with just a little bit more coordination, I think they're going to take game one. Yeah, as long as Chaz isn't able to sneak away for a drink, Looney's been the main person shutting him down, and now Chaz actually recovering a lot of his mana. Mana Rift now secured onto Looney once again. 
And things are looking decently better for Method Black, although Chaz didn't get much of a drink there. If Wildcard Gaming can continue this pressure on the Swapsy, on Raikou, and Chaz, when he gets aggressive, this is going to be looking good for them. We've seen the Mistweaver out mana these Druids in the past. That's definitely something favorable in this matchup for Wildcard Gaming. Looney just has to be able to survive a little bit longer. Good pressure here on the Swapsy. Grapple Weapon denies a lot of his own healing. Looney getting swapped, though. Has to potentially run away on his way of the crane. That would be a disaster. Wants to get out as much damage, and therefore as much healing as possible with that cooldown. But the imprisonment denies, and now Looney's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, the imprisonments of Raikou have been key to their team staying in the fight as mana evens out at nothing with Dampening entering the battle. This is going to be ending soon, I do believe. And I would say that it's now more so in favor of Method Black as Looney attempts to make an escape. Chaz pushes forward, and Method Black look to reverse game one and swing it out of the park here. Looney trades, Life Cocoon managing to stay alive, nailing a double stun, triple crowd control as Wildcard Gaming continue to just struggle to get a kill. Raikou gets swapped to and bursted. He's got darkness to exchange should he need it. Iron Bark appears to be enough. Looney trying to escape, gets stun locked. They actually used to grapple weapon on Raikou to deny the kill on Looney during that stun. Good mid-game adaptation, realizing that it's unlikely they're gonna kill Swapsy anytime soon. They need to focus on just staying alive at this point, denying a lot of Raikou's damage. Swapsy now caught into a stun. Chaz gets interrupted. Good crowd control throughout Wildcard Gaming. Nice ring of peace on the follow-up cast. Paralysis to interrupt the next. Darkness has to be exchanged for that great crowd control chain that was initiated onto Chaz to deny a kill, and it's going to be a race to the finish here, and it's still too close to call. Blizzo commits the touch of death and touch of karma. Swapsy getting lower. Chaz doesn't have any mana left to work with. That life cocoon for Looney is the safety net that potentially Wildcard Gaming really needs. Asphyxiate stun on Chaz into a paralysis. The crowd control sitting. Uh -oh. Now Swapsy getting low. No death strike available. Is he going to be able to hold on? Wildcard Gaming looking to close out this game, make the final push. Take down Swapsy, but he's managed to stabilize Deathstrike, now available without that grapple weapon, but Chaz just can't top him off. I mean, Swapsy is really floundering here. Chaz has no mana, no defensive cooldown. Swapsy could fall at any moment here, but so could Blizzo, who will fall first. It looks to be Swapsy and Wildcard Gaming take game number one over Method Black. I was starting to think that Method Black... The side of the starting room, like if you go to the right, you can actually see to the right of Swapsy right now, you can actually posi uh, position there as a mist weaver and then teleport into the room. You also have double ring of peace, so you can potentially lock the door to that room with those rings of pieces, and you can actually kite fairly effectively still as a mist weaver on this map. Yeah, well, who is Method Black going to go after in this matchup? It looks like it could be Looney. Softsy getting disarmed. Can't play too aggressive here. A lot of counter pressure coming in from Blizzo and Zipai. Touch of Death gets activated. Chaz is forced to trinket it out, throw out the iron bar to keep Swapsy afloat. And now Looney, he's in a lot of trouble. He's committed everything. Trinket, as well as his fortifying brew. Way of the Crane gets imprisoned. The only thing he has left is that very powerful life cocoon, but trading out everything so early on is looking scary for wildcard gaming. Runes of Lorder on an aggressive pick selected here by Method Black, and it does appear to be that they want to put more pressure on Looney, although now it looks like he's able to escape to safety. Blizzo is getting cleaved down, and that's the main thing that you want to focus on if you're a melee cleave. You want to be attacking targets while walking to your primary one. So if Looney is the primary target, you attack Blizzo while moving your character towards Looney. You don't just stand still and attack Blizzo. This way you can make it difficult for Looney to avoid getting swapped to. He's going to have to move, which reduces his healing, and that's what we see right now from Method Black. But in the meantime, Wildcard Gaming pulled the trigger on an offensive push, gunning down swaps with a stun into a grapple. Great combo chain, but denied by Chaz's Iron Bark. Yep, Looney's looking very healthy now. He's able to stabilize. He has his port in a good position, you can see, behind uh, that little gravestone. I think he actually has a position even further away because that's Blizzo's transcendence right there. So he's going to be able to port away, create a lot of distance when he needs to. And as long as Looney's playing safe, things are looking good already. Wildcard Gaming establishing a mana lead, although not huge. Still, that it will add up, especially later on in the game. Blizzo looking for some pressure onto Raikou and Swapsy, but outside of their offensive cooldowns, those offensive pushes, and the crowd control on Chaz, I think Swapsy and Raikou should be just fine. Looney locked down and crowd control. Maybe looking to use Way of the Crane. I think it's likely that he's saving Manatee, which reduces the mana cost of his spells. Most importantly, that Way of the Crane is it is so expensive. So Looney won't be able to Way of the Crane every minute, but he can every 1.5 minutes, and that's what he's waiting for. Playing more efficiently on mana and still banking that as a possible win condition later in the game. Looney definitely skill capped here on that Mistweaver. Now going for the kill. Way of the Crane grapple combo. Nice timing by Wild Card Gaming. Just a tiny bit more damage to put Swapsy over the edge, but it's not there. 
Chaz denies the kill once again. Yeah, with the Iron Bark, but using a bit of mana as well. Looney falling a little bit behind. Mana Rift starting to add up for Raikou. And if they can consistently land these, it's going to be scary. Looney ports out. A little bit of a mistiming there for Raikou, unfortunately. Now it's done onto Chaz. Swapsy still low. This could be oh. the death pack. There's not a lot available. Darkness gets dropped out by Raikou, but still, desperation mode for Method Black. A very nice ring of peace from Blizzo. Forces Swapsy out of the safety of that darkness. As they make an attempt over onto Blizzo, he trinkets out. Life Cocoon gets traded out as well. Looney just looking to avoid as much damage as possible. He wants to keep his team aggressive here onto Swapsy. It's a very back and forth series between these two teams. They have been competitive rivals for years now at this point. Wildcard Gaming, formerly XRB to the moon. Will they finally be able to break the curse and take Method Black out in the grand finals? They've just been unable to in the final stages of any tournament, and this is now a good opportunity for them to do so. They're so evenly matched. They've got good pressure here in game number two. They might be moving up to game three. They interrupt Chaz. Do they have anything afterwards? They need more. They've got the paralysis. Anti-magic shield denies a bit of damage for Swapsy. Chaz gets out of crowd control. Looney's pushing forward. I'm wondering if he's looking for a leg sweep. Ring of Peace to try and bounce Chaz in the fight. Chaz able to bounce to safety. Looney getting pulled back in. Way of the Crane, though, could be a huge push. Looney Trinkets, they know they need to get a kill in this 10-second window. Can they get Swapsy down? Nine more seconds away from it. Doesn't look like they've got the damage to do it. Six more, five more seconds away from it. Chaz is crowd controlled. They just need to connect. The grapple weapon denies the death strikes. They still got Chaz out of the fight for another second. They have to take him out. It doesn't look like they've got enough to do it. Swapsy getting healed now with those regrowths and stays alive once again. Yeah, death strike regrowth will keep Swapsy relatively stable, but still not topped off. Looney forced to play a little bit defensive. Now Blizzo could be in some trouble. No touch of karma available. Life Machine gets traded out. He does have the touch of death which he trades out onto Swapsy. Chaz responds with the Iron Bark immediately to slow down some of that burst damage. Leg sweep onto Swapsy. He trinkets out, wants to continue to use his Death Strike if he can. Now it does not have that trinket available to get rid of um, the this grapple weapon a little bit later on. On to Swapsy, still burst damage coming in from Wildcard Gaming. A lot of pressure here from Raikou, establishing some decent counter pressure for his team onto Blizzo and Zipai. At some point, they might have to run away in this matchup, and that's really the first time we've seen that in this game. This could be the day for Wildcard Gaming to prevent the Method Black world domination that they try to secure every year in terms of points. Currently, the highest point earners across the globe. Wildcard Gaming are in second place, really looking to overthrow the kings of that ladder can they do it they're starting to fall behind to method black blizzo with limited options to stay alive but on ruins of lordaeron it's basically do or die very risky choice on method black's part but it is going to put pressure on wildcard gaming as well yeah method black they need to start getting some momentum in their favor against wildcard gaming today they are down zero to four so they can pick up this match it's going to be very important for not only their score in this match but morale as it seems like Wildcard Gaming does have their number today. Oh. Double leg sweep coming in. Chaz caught in crowd control into a paralysis. Swapsy getting stunned up. Raikou denies with the darkness. Darkness is going to get denied with the Ring of Peace, but Swapsy is able to use his Death's Advance to get back into that safety of the darkness, avoid a lot of this incoming damage, and get stable. All right, Swapsy able to save that Death's Advance for that critical moment to stay in darkness and immune the knockback effect of the Ring of Peace, which would have otherwise been checkmate for Method Black. Swapsy's defense always solid. You can count on him for one thing in particular, that is to never die. But eventually he could be overwhelmed here with this composition that Wildcard Gaming have crafted to slaughter Death Knights. Blizzle gets counter pressured. Touch of Karma at very low health, redirecting the damage now onto Swapsy. Chaz has to trade, but even still, he's almost completely completely tapped on mana. Touch of Death gets activated. Blizzle wants to get the kill here and now. Huge hit, all three members of Wildcard Gaming. They've got one more Way of the Crane push left in the mana tank. They could find a kill. They've got 30 seconds to do it. Maybe they don't even need to Way of it. the Crane. Swapsy's gonna fall here in game number two. Perfect execution. And if there was a day for Wildcard Gaming to take down Method Black. And Wildcard Gaming is trying to get on match point here. We're in the grand final for EU. 120 points on the line. It is a best of seven as we enter Ashman's fall. Now the pumpers who took the tournament last 
last weekend play a very similar composition with a warrior instead of a wind walker and changed my mind when Poike's team was able to eliminate them in the offline rounds and when I spoke to Valet they, he said the main reason they were able to do that is that they improved their rogue mage to overcome that warrior death knight now the wind walker might be a bit better than the warrior in this specific matchup but it is a similar parallel in that matchup and I'm very curious to see if Waz can be the X factor for his team yeah, definitely. I don't think we've seen Waz on Rogue for quite some time, so definitely a pleasant surprise, a welcome change. Polymorph now secured onto Looney. Blizzo could be in some trouble, activating the Touch of Karma. Wants to continue this offensive push onto Raikou. Chaz actually looking for a lot of Cyclones in this matchup. Has exposed himself to a Paralysis. This could easily be the first Ice Block from Raikou. Temporal Shield seconds away from bouncing Raikou back to full health, and there it is. Raikou healed back up to safety. Maledict attempt here onto Blizzo. Windwalker's definitely not a big fan of being a target. Ooh, nice interrupt. Rogue Mage. Perfect timing by Raikou. You, it's almost like Method Black have never even stepped off their Rogue Mage, having seen so much Demon Hunter Death Knight from them. Blizzo in the meantime, portaling over, trying to deny Chaz from drinking. Waz gets swapped too. Good swap here by Looney and z -Pi, trying to create pressure in multiple places and throw Chaz for a loop. Now we see a swap onto Looney by Method Black. Both teams really throwing big curveballs. Yeah, Waz using his Shadow Step. Z-Pi realizing with his death grip, able to take Waz away from Looney, keeping him nice and safe, nice and healthy. And I like what Looney did there. He got interrupted, really reducing the amount of healing that he had available. Blizzle was in trouble, so he just activated the way of the crane, and that way he can move in, use his melee abilities like the Rising Sun Kick and the Blackout Kick to get out the healing that he needs. So if he ever does get interrupted, having that as a safety net, definitely important. Waz could be in some trouble now. Full Polymorph once again secured by Raikou. He has been doing a good job so far, making sure he's at least landing some crowd control as Looney's forced to trinket out of the blind. Ooh. Now it's susceptible himself to, or very susceptible to that interrupt as Raikou does nail one once again, but looks like Looney should be able to recover and keep Blizzo alive. I think the big difference right now is Looney's mana. He's basically full and Chaz is already down to half. So if Wildcard Gaming can stay on top of that and deny Chaz from regenerating it, I, I think they're going to be able to take this and then Method Black may need to make another adaptation. And one thing we saw from North America yesterday was the Mew Mew Kitty Cats running that Paladin and they were doing all in strategies to kill the Windwalker using the Blessing of Protection to remove the Touch of Karma. That might end up being maybe something that Method Black should consider, at least in this match. Up, but then when they lock it in blind, they'll be so easily countered by wildcard gaming. It's going to be a very difficult for a series for Method Black overall. I wouldn't say that they've necessarily even got this game in the bag, and if they even manage to win it, they've got two swing matches they have to win. It. This is looking like wildcard gaming's day, unless their bad luck curse takes them down. Yeah, touch of death as well as one Maledic being used by Palizzo onto Raikou, basically trying to solo him down at this point. Jazz denies with the Iron Bark as z just pressuring down Chaz. They really want to play into their win condition, which could potentially be mana in this matchup, especially if Looney can hold on to that precious mana bar and Chaz is forced to heal multiple targets. It's definitely going to be disas disastrous for Method Black. There's a small opening here. Blizzo with no trinket could potentially go down in a stun, but with this fortifying brew and touch of karma and and being an orc, I think it's unlikely they find the damage to take him down 100 to 0. All right, Waz gets swapped here. There's pressure in multiple places, and look at Chaz's mana. Basically nothing. Full stun secured. Looney putting pressure on Chaz. Icy Veins gets popped. Raikou's trying to make a play. How much damage can he get out here is the question. They have to kill Blizzo 100 0 in two more seconds. One more second, they get denied. Zipai's anti magic zone saving Blizzo, allowing him to stabilize, and now it is go time. You've got such a huge mana lead. Wildcard Gaming need to play right on top of Method Black and just push them over. Yeah, Touch of Karma gets used by Blizzo, potentially a little preemptive there. Uh, Looney wasn't in any crowd control, so might have been able to top him off. And I really feel like Method Black's damage did fall down, but uh, we'll have to see if that pays off for him. Waz getting swapped too, as Chaz does stabilize the whole team. And I think Chaz actually sat down for a little bit of a drink there. Kitty shot secured on Zipai. He uses the Icebound Fortitude. Now he is a vulnerable target in this matchup, potentially as well. Raikou once again trying to deny the kill with the Temporal Shield, manages to do so, and he's been doing a great job in this matchup so far with Chaz, making sure they're perfectly rotating their defensive cooldowns anytime Wildcard Gaming is getting a good offensive push, and they have been able to hold on to those precious ice blocks for quite some time. Double stun, wave the crane, interrupt secured, cross crowd Whoa! control, it's looking good here for Wildcard Gaming, they get an ice block, they grip Chaz into the fight to try and mix it up and catch him off guard, then Paralysis on his escape to switch targets to Waz to put even more pressure into the fight. z definitely an exposed target, but before dampening, is he really going to go down? Raikou now getting Maledict 
from the team of Wildcard Touch Games. Of death. Multiple. Touch of death about to explode. Chaz gets Ring of Peace on his cast and stacked up onto the team. This could be devastating. Raikou potentially still on hypothermia. Desperately blinking to safety in midfield. Temporal Shield well-timed once again, but look at Chaz's mana in a very bad state. Maledict attempt, but now onto Z-Pi. Can they take him down without dampening? Will he fall? Life Cocoon appears to be enough. They managed to at least crush through it. Chaz is looking like he wants to try and drink, but it's going to be an ice block for mana if he really wants to be able to make that. I'm not even sure if he's going to. Raikou gets stun-locked. Z-Pi connects. Blizzo moves over. z gets deflected for now. Surprised to not to see him shrink it and get a kill. They get the second block regardless. And now Wildcard Gaming have all the major objectives out of the way and still have the mana lead. And are they going to be able to just completely clean sweep Method Black 7-0 total in the day? It's definitely looking like a possibility. This matchup is definitely going their way. Currently 5-0 against Method Black in their two series today. Blizzo does manage to get the Fortifying Brew off, wants to remain tanky and not take too much damage from the Thorns that Chaz has put onto Raikou. Raikou with a beautiful Temporal Shield once again before the Leg Sweep keeps him alive, but Waz getting swapped to in a lot of trouble. Fist of Fury, Evasion still available, but he's holding on to it. Wants to sort of bait z and Blizzo to attack him, and if he gets too low, he can trade out the Evasion to stay alive, and that buys Raikou a little bit of time to get topped off from some of the heal over time effects Chaz has, but Sid, Chaz with no mana left, what is he gonna do? I mean, he's not really going to do a lot. Raikou is just getting gunned down. All they have to do is stay on target, grip Raikou back into the fight, interrupt him on every cast, double stun lock. This should be a closed game at this point. Iron Bark is the last thing standing in their way, but even that doesn't appear to be enough as z tries to push him over the edge, and Raikou holds on by a thread. Temporal Shield now available. He manages to escape and at least stay alive, but staying alive is not going to be enough to put a win on the board, which they desperately need, unless they want to be put on match point already. Wildcard Gaming just smacking Method Black around here today. Touch of death rolling. Blizzo's trying to gun for a kill. Waz is low health as well. Blizzo gets cycloned. Good denial at least of some damage during this window of time. Chaz still with no mana left. They drop the Frozen Orb. Raikou tries to make something happen out of nothing, but there's just no damage to back it up. Waz is getting cleaved down. Method Black definitely have great survival instincts to be able to even stay alive to this point. I'm still looking for an opening. Uh, they maybe found one with a polymorph they secured by Raikou. Can they sneak it in? Yeah, they definitely could. Blizzo's very vulnerable and was. He actually has a Medetta. Raikou has to hold on a little bit longer. Temporal Shield is used with the Iron Bark. I think Raikou can stay alive and now Blizzo, he's in a lot of trouble. Looney with no trinket. If he gets polymorph, easily Blizzo could fall. Can Method Black do it? Blizzo has to hold on another two seconds for his touch of karma if he can connect that to Raikou he's going to be feeling relatively healthy he holds on but if he gets caught in a stun still danger time for wildcard gaming and it's just going to be it Raikou gets crushed but Blizzard can get cross killed with one more second left on that polymorph they, have any they are making this look like a rest day wildcard gaming just needs one more to take the grand final all right here we go everybody this is it can wildcard gaming break the curse 7-0 against method black in the day if they manage to pull off this potentially final game method black are desperate they went back to their rogue mage roots that didn't work all right let's break out swapsy destruction warlock see if a wizard cleave can be enough to deal with wildcard gaming but we've already seen that wildcard gaming knows how to manage their mana into the late game using the mana t with way of the crane for big pushes and they also know how to just avoid a fight until they have the opportunity to find victory. So it's up to Method Black to find a way to end this game. Maybe a counter kill right at the final seconds. A game of chicken as Wildcard Gaming push forward to try and get the final blow. They then reverse it and kill Wildcard Gaming amidst their push. And I think it's going to be that risky decision making that Method Black will have to employ to find victory here against Wildcard Gaming. Yep, and this is a strategy that we saw the Pumpers implement against Method Black is just sit back, relax, wait for dampening, and then eventually, as that cleave, you can make that offensive push and really push through a lot of that Restoration Druid uh, healing, and you really can't blame them at this point. I think Raikou and Swapsy, they're really difficult targets to take down, especially uh, during these earlier stages of the game. Looney, susceptible to crowd control. If they do manage to land Polymorph into Polymorph, into Fear into Fear, Blizzard with z could definitely go down. So it's not exactly a favorable trade for Wild Card Gaming early on, but later on, when Swapsy's self-healing is limited, or when Swapsy just pu pushes in uh, and it's very offensive in a position like this. This is a chance for Wildcard Gaming to get really aggressive. Yeah, Wildcard Gaming going for a kill early on here against Method Black. Is Swapsy going to choke? Are they going to fall? Is this Wildcard Gaming's day to finally take victory in the European region? 
Swapsy looks to reverse the pressure, dropping those infernals, popping the unending resolve to go aggressive. It's a game of chicken at this point. But Swapsy is boldly going for it. Connects one chaos bolt, not able to find a second. Way of the crane completely nullifies that attempt from Swapsy. Now catching a polymorph, unfortunately breaking a bit early. Unending resolve and iron bark have already been used. If Wildcard Gaming can stay on target, Swapsy might fall early. Yeah, definitely. Swapsy jumping down from that little platform, but. Wildcard Gaming, they got what they wanted. If you look, Swapsy, his unending resolve, it's a three-minute cooldown. Blizzo, wait for your touch of death. Guess what? It's a two-minute cooldown, so that's going to give you an opportunity when those cooldowns aren't lined up, and that's when Wildcard Gaming can get really aggressive. You just wait for the way of the crane, you wait for the touch of death, you make an offensive push once again, and that's when you can overwhelm some of that Restoration Druid healing. In the Method Black, when Swapsy pushes in and trades out those defensives and offensives cooldowns, Wildcard Gaming is in a situation where they thrive. All right, let's see how Wildcard Gaming want to navigate it here. They got one major objective, but before dampening, maybe they don't want to risk it. Maybe they just want to save mana, wait for the late game, and then just finish the job against Method Black. And this is where we've seen Wildcard Gaming in a position where they just one win away from being able to take out Method Black, and it just slips away. And maybe it's off the back of them playing overly defensive and overly cautious. It may just be the case that they need to go all out and, and find a kill. It's a matter of finding the timing on that push. They definitely need to push, but timing it is going to be key. And right now they're a bit reluctant and that early advantage that they established is slipping away if they continue to decide to do nothing. I mean, are they really doing nothing? They're sitting back, they're not attacking. They're doing nothing. I mean, they're doing nothing except biding their time to a point in the match where they have more of an advantage. So, I mean, by sitting back and doing nothing, they're actually accomplishing their goal and playing into their win condition, in my opinion. Method Black has to be the one that has to play a little bit aggressive, but it needs to be Raikou. I just think Swapsy is way too susceptible to Swaps. No pun intended with his name, but... <laughs> If he gets gripped in and swapped you, that's when these favorable trades go in favor of wildcard gaming. It needs to be Raikou that moves in, gets the Blizzard, gets the Frozen Ore, but this little platform with the way they're positioned, it's really hard for Raikou to even get that rolling. And we got wildcard gaming. Uh, they're playing it out intelligently. We, we see it said in the past that they've sort of tripped on the finish line against Method Black. Right now, they're 6 0 against Method Black for the day. They want to win this cup. It'll be the first cup that they win this season, I believe. So. Definitely really important for their team. Yeah, I'm very curious to see how it plays out. I mean, Method Black may have f flashbacks uh, against the Pumpers, and deep in dampening, it was Drainer's team that was able to overcome adversity and run them over in dampening. So because of powerful cooldowns like Anti-Magic Shield and Touch of Karma, Wildcard Gaming can effectively immune the magic damage that is in the composition of Method Black. And while they are immune, they run them over with pressure and high mobility and support with all three members adding in that way of the crane. So Wildcard Gaming are just going to wait for the ultimate dampening push and try to end this with one swift strike. Although right now their actions don't look very swift. They're playing it patiently, cautiously, lining it up and then going to be gunning down for the win and if they can manage to do it they'll 7-0 method black which is basically unprecedented i don't think method black have been destroyed this hard ever yeah i think that's definitely a fair statement raikou moving in he basically needs to be the person to soak up a lot of this damage in this matchup as he has shimmer in order to escape or a swapsy he doesn't have that luxury if he goes in he's stuck not a lot of mobility options there for Swapsy. I'd actually like to see him reposition his gateway, and he did. If you look at the front of this little platform, there is the gateway, and that's where Swapsy can basically use that as a get-out-of-jail-free card. If they do grip him in, he can always go back to the gateway to at least escape a little bit and create some distance. But Wildcard Gaming, they are not afraid to play this out to the late game. They want to wait. But the question is, what is the right moment for them to push forward and actually try to start getting pressure? Because if you wait too late, Swapsy might be able to find an opportunity to really overwhelm you with the unending resolve, the infernals, the dark soul. Things can get really dicey against the destruction warlock. All right, it's going to be a game of chicken. And if wildcard gaming are afraid whatsoever or show any signs of weakness, then they could be overwhelmed during their push. So they've come all the way to this final point. They're going to play it out until the absolute last moment that they possibly can. And it isn't to say that they are even guaranteed victory at that point. They can't afford to slip up whatsoever with that final push. 
Currently, Swapsy and Raikou are closing in. Swapsy on the right and Raikou on the left. They've got Wildcard Gaming surrounded. Finally, some triangle positioning on the part of Method Black. I really think they need to realize deeper into dampening that big wave push could overwhelm them. We do see Wildcard Gaming going for an attack here as dampening ramps in. Touch of Death activated, desperately trying to pull powerful defensives. They get Iron Bark and immediately evacuate. One cooldown out of the way. Now they'll play safe and look for another opportunity later on. Yeah, you know, saw Swapsy, by the way, play Lock twice last year. Both times Affliction, both times an L. Both times a loss, so not necessarily the highest win rate, but Swapsy in desperation mode coming in, playing this composition that they think might potentially work. That last exchange actually wasn't too bad. Blizzo committed his touch of death, and Chaz really only using the Iron Bark to uh, keep him alive. Although he doesn't have a trinket, so potentially they could be waiting for Looney with the paralysis, with the leg sweep. That's a nice little crowd control chain that Wildcard Gaming has available to make a push onto Swapsy. But now, Swapsy, Raikou, they're positioning far away. They don't want to be exposed to getting death gripped in, getting susceptible to damage. Chaz just going to sit down and drink, looking for a reset, as we are at 17% dampening. Basically, this game is going to play out for a 10-second period of time where anything can happen. And during that 10-second period of time, it could be foreshadowing for the Super Frogs versus Never Lucky series as both those teams have similar compositions on their rosters. And depending on who ends up coming out ahead, could dictate the North American region as well. This Mistweaver, Windwalker, Death Knight composition has been quite potent since the recent Restoration Druid changes on focused growth. And now with dampening at 20% and ramping, we do see Wildcard Gaming looking like they want to initiate Ooh. an assault. Good crowd control, but Swapsy preemptively gates to safety right before the stun lock, denying an attempt by Wildcard Gaming. Wildcard Gaming is very non-committal right now. They get <laughs> the gateway from Swapsy. They don't chase him whatsoever. They seem to really want to just sit on this platform for as long as possible. But like I said, Things can fall apart quite quickly here for Wildcard Gaming as well. You sit back for too long, not doing much, can definitely be scary. Swapsy getting gripped in, and this is the perfect position. Blizzo commits the touch of death, and now Swapsy, with no gateway, could be in a lot of trouble. Chaz uses the Iron Bark and the Thorns to try to redirect some of this damage, reduce it. Swapsy might have to trade out the Unending Resolve. Good ring of peace there by Blizzo, slowing down some of the healing coming in from Chaz as he's caught into a paralysis. Swapsy doesn't want to be too greedy with this Unending Resolve. He's getting lower. Chaz gets grip. Swapsy finally committing it, putting out a little bit of counter pressure if he can, but this is looking real good for Wildcard Gaming. Yeah, I mean, Swapsy's on the ropes here. He has nothing left, whereas Wildcard Gaming have many options to trade, and when they go for a push even deeper into dampening, what is Chaz really going to do other than throw his hands up in the air? He's not going to have any opportunities. In the meantime, Raikou tries to move in, gets a triple frozen orb with a spell lock backed up by Swapsy. I think Method Black have realized if they don't get aggressive and get a kill, they might just lose. Double interrupt combo by Method Black as they desperately try to put a point on the board. Denied on the kill, but at least showing signs of life here in game number four. Will they go down 7-0? Infernals have landed. Swapsy wants to get a kill. Gets denied on it with the leg sweep. Can they keep these Chaos Bolts from coming? Now they try to retreat across the map, but Zipai, he's a Death Knight. He doesn't move as fast. They left him behind. He's trying to march his way around the side of the balcony, but these Chaos Bolts bring a piece. Denies one. Swapsy goes for another. Gets at least one. Snaring Zipai up, but now able to duck around the corner and now with the infernal threat out of the way if i'm wildcard gaming this game's in the bag yep you've got the way of the crane you've got touch of death coming up in 28 seconds that is the moment where wildcard gaming could potentially close out this game swapsy positioning very far away on top of his gateway as all three members of wildcard gaming charge in looney caught into a polymorph there could be trouble time here on to zipai has the anti-magic shell swapsy getting bursted down caught do a full stun chaz commits the iron bark thorns to keep swapsy alive great counter pressure here on the zipai it's a race to the finish swapsy getting lower he's getting interrupted looney moving in looking for crowd control nails the legs we've onto chaz he's forced to drink it out now swapsy in a lot of trouble with the top Valedix, wild card gaming can they really 4-0 method black and yes they will 7-0 on the day claiming cup number four That's how dominant wild card gaming was on the day they play method black twice and they take him down without dropping a single game and if you look a little bit further yeah. back as well wild card did wild card 
feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up one and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in battle for Azeroth. 